Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before we jump into the topics, may I beg you to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. A security guard has confessed to blowing up the ATM machine in Portland. Ivan in response to JSPCA wanting her to be arrested. Massacre shows off his 2021 plaques and his awards. Vibes Cartel agrees that Spice money should be doubled for Reggae Sunfest performance. And Kodak Black endorses Killibang Wap Wap and willing to do a remix. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the security guard confessing to actually blowing up the ATM machine in Portland. I remember the other day I talked about it a couple of days ago. And I did even tell him to say, oh, the police them did say they're going to find out who is actually responsible for doing that situation. You understand? And you don't know, say, well, if people did wonder what going on with the money, we hear say them the estimated loss was what, $13 million or something like that. Yes, you know, say, people. So right now, the security guard actually confessed and him actually said some other things which I got shock a lot of you guys. I may talk about things we have to do with Obi and all them type of thing there. So brace on yourself as me get into this old story because I know enough of you go probably shake on the head and thing, is it me? The police also a look for your Obi man in relation to this, among some other things. So I could get into this story right about now, Zane. So it start off by saying update a security guard who was attached to a prominent company and is in custody in connection to an explosion at a Scotia Bank ATM in Port Antonio, Portland, is expected to be hit with multiple charges including fraud the security has given a statement confessing to the crimes the guard has reportedly confessed to over several years stealing money intended for the atm so people are not just know the money do it several years now anyway the atm was destroyed a few days ago before the audit was to take place the guard was injured during the fire which was lit using gasoline the fire caused an ac unit to explode the security guard has reportedly told the popo that part of the reason he stole millions of dollars was to pay an obia man who was pressuring him for money the guard reportedly says he had consulted the obia man in order to ensure a reconciliation with his ex-girlfriend <laughs> yo people the so-called obia man is being pursued by police in connection with the crimes which the security guard has admitted to the company which the guard is attached to has also launched a major internal investigation the guard is being treated he is under popo guard a section of scotia which was housed two atms was destroyed in the explosion which occurred at 4 10 a.m on saturday glass was found nearly 70 feet away from the scene the guard received cuts burns a broken leg and other injuries he was found in an incinerator at the back of the bank you see it people so i guess the obia man is a chopper as well <laughs> That are the only thing me have to say, is it? And this man has a desperately warm back him woman in a zine that the man willing to go out there and thief money in order to pay the Obia man for work some voodoo upon the girl so he can actually get her back. Ah, oh boy, you may tell the people, you see, when you believe in a damn thing, yeah, you will do anything. That's all I can say. And you know them have a saying, believe, kill, and believe, cure, don't it? So if you as a person will follow up this whole Obia thing, then and you feel like, say, yeah, man, this Obia man can actually make things happen. Then you will go to the ends of the earth, especially if you do it for a woman. You don't know, say the woman, them have some man head weak right about now. You see it, people. So at least the man confess to doing it. And very sad still, say, a man, you know, him risk him life for all of this. And boy, oh boy, them not say which company, but you don't know, I kind of have an idea as to which company it is. I'm not going to call them names still. You see, my people, but let me know what you guys think about this. Very interesting. I'm not lie. Yo, boy, people, wicked out there still, you know. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel supporting Spice as it relates to her getting her money doubled for the Reggae Sunfest performance. You see me? And basically, Vibes Cartel did leave a comment under a... Uh, um, and that article that was posted by Dan Salmag. So I'm going to run through the article quick and fast. And you guys can tell me if you support this. Because remember, you know, Spicy get paid for Reggae Sunfest some time ago, like about three years ago, but it never keep. And basically, she feel like the level where she dip on now, her money need to be doubled, you understand? I also see some people that say, oh, kiss me teach, you know, forget the money there and this and that. But Cartel is in full support of Spice getting double the money, you see? So anyway, the article says, Spice says her Sunfest fee should be doubled. Reggae Sunfest is back and the Grammy-nominated Queen of Dancer Spice says the organizers down sound entertainment ought to double her performance fee, which was agreed upon for the 2020 staging, which was cancelled due to the pandemic. They go down the singer, which was speaking during a recent Instagram Live, where she asserted that the price has indeed gone up and recounted 
mounted her negotiations with the downtown boss, Joe Bogdanovich. So you see, 2022 come now. I said, Joe, the price gone up. She said in a sing-song manner before bawling out laughing, you got to give me more money, Joe. Everything raised, Joe. Me say, all gas gone high, everything I raised. So you definitely have to pay me some more money. My kind of does sit apart the people. So, you know, me can't bother read out everything what she has said. But basically that article was posted on Vibes Cartel jumping at the comment section and said double or nothing. So of course if him not double it, that means that she not go perform. That's how cartel say saying thing. But as I say people, my feel like say Spice definitely deserve more money. And as an artist, you have to know your worth. You understand? If you pay somebody $5 million five years ago and the person net worth increase, them status gone up, everything I raise up for the person. You understand what I say? Um, basically, they might go want more money because things and times change and, you know, hopefully Joe Bogdanovich understand that. But you don't know say Joe money tall, so I feel like say, I have no problem I pay Spice the money and thing. You understand? So, as I say, um, I say somebody say, when them are going to make, make the kiss teeth emoji. So obviously that person is not in agreement that Spice should get double the money. You understand what I say? Um, somebody says she needs to get over herself. Somebody says for what? She walk. Shensia is a way better artist. <laughs> Anyway, you know, see the comments then, but the Gaza Bass Vibes Cartel feel like says Spice money should be doubled. I'm going to ask one the question. They were anything, car 2020 Joe Gear, how much millions of dollars? And you know, obviously, him tell her if you keep the money because the event never keep. And right now, Joe would have won because him already paid that money. She feels just come perform and thing, is it? But Spice, I said, no. So if she did get four million, he must go get her four million dollars more if she actually come. Um, perform and thing. She never talk how much money him give her, but she say a millions of dollars him come fling pan her. So I know say it's more than a million dollars she get. I feel like about three, four million dollars Spice get, but anyway people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the Genocide Boss Massacre showing off his 2021 plaques and also a few awards and things. You see it people, so let us get into this article right away because the boss definitely, you know, feel good and I show off in billboard plaques. Anyway, so it's a Massacre shows off his 2021 plaques and awards. Dancer DJ Massacre recently showed off his five shiny plaques and awards commemorating his musical achievements in 2021, which includes two Billboard plaques, two IRFM awards and a German gold plaque. From Sin City Days, current been a kick, go hard and done. He wrote on an Instagram on Monday alongside a photo of his accolades. Massacre snagged the Billboard plaques for his 16-track debut album 438, which opened at the number two spot on the reggae albums chart following the release on December the 3rd, 2021. The album has also made its way on Billboard Heat Seekers album award, peaking at number 14, according to data provided to Dance Almag. 438 more 5164 equivalent album units from sales and streaming in the United States during its first three weeks in December. This includes 2864 units, 733 copies sold during its first week of release. The album spends seven weeks on the Billboard reggae chart, a feat which his compatriots, including Alkaline Vibes Cartel, Usain Bolt, and Spice, failed to accomplish. Each and everyone spent one week on the sales and streaming driven chart with the release of their albums respectively. The leader DJ has also won big earlier this year in March when he picked up two IRFM Music Awards for Male DJ of the Year and Album of the Year for the 438 album. His Big Body Benz gold plaque was due in credit for his 2020 feature on German rapper Bones MC Big Body Benz. The gold certification was awarded for the gifted DJ last year by the BMV1 the German Federal Music Industry, after the song sold more than 200,000 units in the country, the track was released on Bones MC album Hollywood, which also received a gold certification. Keeping up the momentum, Massacre 28 dropped some new music for his one side fans earlier this month. History release on April the 3rd has racked up over 2.4 million views on YouTube, while Legend with Jamil, the title track of Jamil's new album, is catching up views at 840. 48,000. So yes, people, it's definitely a good look and we can't deny that Massacre is a good artist. You understand? Everything he might get right now, he deserve it. A year's Massacre put in the work, people. You see me? Remember, say, the man, they usually come talk, say, yo, him look up to that artist and him respect that artist. And now he is the artist who a lot of persons look up to and a lot of persons have to put respect on him name. So 
big up yourself, Massacre. You see me? People them say 438 are the best album for the year. Um, yeah, for last year are the best album. And also, people are say right now, them still can't see no album we actually can compare to that. You see me, people? So, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about another rapper, Enda, since Killy Beng Wap Wap song. And people have to start put some real respect on Killy Beng name, you know, Zane, honestly. Me, even me, myself, have to go, yo. No, say yo, this brother yeah, are the only artist right now we see where the rappers them does a gravitate to him, sang them. I don't know how him do it. I don't know people. You see me? But basically, a rapper that goes by the name of Kodak Black seem like he might actually get on the beat. You see me, people? I actually see Kodak Black post a video and dancing the Skilly Bang Wap Wap, which I'm going to show in the video where he post. And then I'm going to actually show no, um, a something there. A post, another post where he make basically. So check out that post here. Some guns on my clock. Yeah, man, people. So you can see the boss are doing thing, and I guess them kind of like the wap 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 thing. I think it's that actually draw a whole heap of people to it and it just like simple it's simple but effective right people but anyway kodak black did also reposted something that somebody said right it's the person named ice cream baby so them say let's get kodak black on wap 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 he the only person who would fit the remix car remember say nba young boy dropped his remix the other day but him they delete it off of him youtube channel for whatever reason is him a people so this person want kodak for go up on the wap wap and just mash it up because they feel like Kodak are the only rapper. And he actually reposted it. And for you repost something, you must in agreement to it. Right, people? So maybe we might get a Skilly Bang featuring Kodak Black Wap Wap remix or whatever it may be. You see it? So I'll watch out for see what I go on. But I don't know, people. Skilly Bang, definitely, whatever I'm do, continue to do it. You understand? It'll work. That's all I can say. While some of we might not love the song, you understand? It definitely I get the highlight on the international scale and we don't see no other artists that do it. You see me? The only other artist Missy get Endas the other day as King when Nicki Minaj Endas King on her IG status. We don't see no other artist. None. Not one. But anyway people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Ivan responding to the JSPCA people them, which is the um... Ah, Jamaica Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Zane. And basically, Ivan did post a video on her page. And according to these people, she did do more harm to the animal than, than, than do good to him. Then you understand? Maybe Ivan never recognized that she hurt him or whatever. I don't really know people, Zane. But basically, the video got viral and them see it. And Ivan actually made a video in response to the Jamaica Observer article that was posted. So, I showed you the video. And then I actually go on to some more things where she posts on her Instagram status. Is it more people? So this is what Ivan have to say. One thing me want to ask JCFDPC if you don't know when time I put up blues if it um right um when my post it say for adoption and for sale. You don't know see where you when Yeah man so after she posts that she posts up something saying only if they know how I love and care for my dog. Bright and early, me I carry him at the adopted vet. Cause on a nah make me go to prison for a dog. Louis, you try pack up. Jamaica system won't stop stalk me till them set an example of me and prison me. When Anna police and people are group up with the system, but one thing me have to tell you no. On a come good. I'm just taking my own music serious and minding my own business. Is me and then she posts up a um a video with she and the dog. I say meanwhile Louis getting fatter and fatter. So yeah, people, Ivan, you just go and focus on your music and stop post up them things that we are doing with the dog and a split and a ray and a tea. You understand? People them are gonna report a thing to the JSPCA and you know you just gotta draw unnecessary attention to yourself. That's all I'm gonna say. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.